Welcome to Token Topics. We're going to dive into some exciting developments for XRP fans. SWIFT sets up the industry for CBDC transactions and plans to add many new networks. This is explosive news for technologies such as the XRP Ledger. Also, tokenized silver from Green Zone. The tokenization of real world assets is growing. Let's see what Green Zone is up to with the XRP Ledger. Also, an explosive Forbes article that shows that the world is ready for a massive change in the financial system as Russia and China plan to use DLT technology for payments. We're going to dive into that article and see what that means for the dollar. We're going to cover these topics and more. So if you're an XRP fan, you don't want to miss this video. Please do hit the like, share and subscribe. With that out of the way, let's dive in. I'm going to have decent wallet here on the show soon. So if you have any questions, this is your chance to get it answered. If it's a business question, a technical question, a question on an asset maybe, go ahead and put it in the comment section in this video and I'll be sure to add it to the list of questions to have it answered. You might not know that you can purchase crypto directly through your Decent wallet. And in fact, I wanna show you here. Just one of the many reasons I love using the Decent wallet is that you don't need an exchange to purchase crypto. You can purchase it simply through the wallet Decent has made it extra easy to purchase top assets directly through the wallet. So as you can see here, let me give you a quick demonstration. You can see exchange, swap, and buy in the Aqua tabs. Just tap on buy, and it's gonna bring you to this page here. You can see the different services, Topper, MoonPay, and Simplex. You can use those services to purchase crypto and store it safely in the Decent wallet. It's taking out all the headache. There you go. Purchase a decent wallet through Token Topics affiliate link in the description of every video, and you can receive an incredible discount. Ripple is looking to fill a big position in London. Ripple is hiring a senior manager of business development for institutional DeFi for their London United Kingdom office. This is going to be something to watch to see what comes out of that. Speaking of London, we have the Digital Pound Foundation posted. SWIFT connects over 11,500 banks and financial institutions across more than 200 countries, facilitating a daily transfer of trillions of dollars. Their new CBDC platform aims to provide a unified global connection point for digital asset payments, potentially simplifying the currently complex web of individual connections between financial entities. It's important to note that a key member of the Digital Pound Foundation is indeed Ripple. Now, we got some exciting news from SWIFT. SWIFT is planning an interconnected network for central bank digital currency payments. Now, this is a great deal. This is great news for projects such as the XRP Ledger because the main idea is to add different payment networks to all interconnect. And in fact, I want to show you Mary Hall from Ripple. She liked this. In fact, she stated here, exciting news. SWIFT announced that they are done with their second phase of collaborative experiments with 38 global institutions. So SWIFT sets industry up for seamless introduction of CBDCs for cross-border transactions as interlinking solutions find more use cases. Now, this is great news for projects that are working on CBDC solutions and cross-border uh, payment solutions. And it also says that this is gonna enable new networks to come in. So collaborative experiments with 38 global institutions demonstrate new use cases for SWIFT solution across digital trade, securities, and foreign exchange. So SWIFT solution could enable financial institutions to easily incorporate CBDCs and other digital assets in, into common business practices. Connector can interlink multiple networks and could lead to automated trade flows and unlock growth in tokenization. One of the largest known collaborations on CBDC's 38 institutions, including central and commercial banks, as well as market infrastructures, took part in experiments which found that Swiss Solution has a potential to simplify and speed up trade flows, unlock growth in tokenized securities markets, and enable efficient FX settlement, all while allowing financial institutions to continue to make use of their existing infrastructure. Interoperability is critical to Swiss strategy for instant and frictionless transactions. The cooperative has focused its innovation agenda on interoperability between digital currencies and tokenized assets to overcome the potential risk of fragmentation caused by the development of digital currencies on different technologies and with different standards and protocols. 
Swiss solution has already been shown to enable cross-border transfers and connect CBDCs on different networks which each, with each other as well as fiat currencies. The second phase of sandbox testing went further, exploring more complex use cases using Swiss solution to connect and orchestrate transactions across simulated digital trade and tokenized assets in FX networks. Alongside CBDCs for payments, more than 750 transactions were carried out over the course of the experiment because this is the groundwork that's being laid. This is, this is the testing and it's showing that interoperability of all these networks are going to work together. You know, when you have great news about BlackRock investing into Securitize and you see SWIFT along with all these banks carrying this out, the world is just coming uh, that much closer to this new digital economy. SWIFT now plans to extend its solution to support a wider range of emerging digital networks in addition to CBDCs such as platforms for tokenized deposits. Big article here from Forbes. More dangerous than nukes, China and Russia revealed to be suddenly abandoning the US dollar for a Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP-inspired rival amid crypto price pump. Now, anybody that has been studying the space, they know that they would be inspired more by what Ripple is doing with the XRP ledger than the other assets mentioned here. But this is also bullish for other projects that are working on similar solutions, uh, such as the XDC network, what Stellar is doing, and others. We have to remember that we've heard from many different industry experts that interoperability is key, that there is not going to be one network that's going to rule them all. The Bitcoin price shot back to its all-time high around $70,000 per Bitcoin, pushing up the price of Ethereum XRP in a wider crypto market as Wall Street eyes a staggering $90 trillion bonanza. As Tesla billionaire Elon Musk and legendary investor Warren Buffett named a true currency, China and Russia have teamed up to create a payment system based on Bitcoin's blockchain technology, with one respected economist warning it could be more dangerous for American hegemony than nuclear weapons. Here, the Kremlin's aide made a statement. He says that we believe that creating an independent BRICS payment system is an important goal for the future, which would be based on state-of-the-art tools such as digital technologies and blockchain. Bitcoin, as well as other cryptocurrencies, such as Ethereum and XRP use distributive ledger technology known as blockchain to record and validate transactions without the need for a central authority. The main thing is to make sure it is convenient for governments, common people and businesses, as well as cost effective and free of politics, Yuskov said. The BRICS, which include China, Russia, Brazil, India and South Africa, have in the last few years been looking for ways to end their reliance on the U.S. dollar a trend which was accentuated by the U.S.-led sanctions placed on Russia following its invasion of Ukraine. The days of a dollar-centric world is over. That's a reality. We have a multipolar global trading system today. South Africa's BRICS ambassador stated last year, reported by Fox Business. Meanwhile, China has been slowly rolling out a digital version of its yuan, also inspired by Bitcoin and crypto, in an attempt to both control the domestic flow of money among its citizens and compete with the U.S. dollar for global trade. The so-called Central Bank Digital Currency, or CBDC, exploded a total transactions of $950 million last year with a culminative value of 1.8 trillion yuan, or $249.9 billion. By the end of June, up from 100 billion yuan, or $13.9 billion. The previous August, it was reported by South China Morning Post. If increasingly, capital flows migrate to Chinese digital payment system. That is more dangerous for American hegemony than nuclear weapons, economist Yanis, a former finance minister of Greece, stated. Let's dive into his article from Green Zone. Tokenization of real-world assets on the XRP ledger. They also give an example of the XCC network. Unlocking real-world assets, tokenization paving the way for inclusive economies through waste management. In today's rapidly evolving financial landscape, the tokenization of real-world assets, or RWAs, is revolutionizing how we perceive value and access investment opportunities. This transformative process holds the promise of bridging traditional barriers, democratizing access to assets, and fostering inclusive economic growth. At the forefront of this movement are blockchain technologies such as the XCC Network and XRP Ledger, which are catalyzing the tokenization of RWAs and reshaping the financial landscape. 
XTC Network and XRP Ledger are pivotal players in facilitating the tokenization of real-world assets. They provide infrastructure needed to tokenize assets securely and efficiently, ensuring transparency and trust within the ecosystem. By leveraging these platforms, assets such as real estate, commodities, and even intellectual property rights can be represented as digital tokens, unlocking liquidity and enabling uh, fractional ownership. One pioneering example of tokenization in action is Green Zone a visionary company leading the charge in sustainable waste management. Through their initiative, Recycle to Earn program, Green Zone tokenizes waste materials such as paper, plastic, and aluminum on the XTC network, for example, by converting waste into digital assets represented by GZX tokens. Green Zone not only incentivizes recycling, but also returns tangible value to customers. In addition, Green Zone holds a crafted precious metals license in Texas, authorizing its operations within the state, leveraging the XRP ledger. Green Zone has innovatively tokenized silver into NFT collectibles, broadening the horizon of asset tokenization. These digital renditions of silver assets offer collectors an exclusive avenue to possess and exchange limited resources securely and transparently. Now, if you'd like to read more through this article, it's in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider subscribing so you can stay up to date with future content. Thank you.